Hey everybody, I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Warzone Mobile is out, or at least somewhat. See, the problem is, since this game is in such an early stage of development, they have really limited access to this game. And people like me, who literally went to the event in London and I played the game early, can now no longer play the game. So, what do you do if you can't play Warzone Mobile? You play alternative games, of course. And that's the focus of today's video. In today's video, I'll be showing you all five mobile shooting games that are similar to Modern Warfare and Warzone that you can either play right now or very soon for iOS or Android. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All download links for the games that you can play are down below in the description. Otherwise, I have pre-registration links down in the description. If you guys do enjoy this type of video, please do take a second and leave a like for more content like this and subscribe down below because I do a lot of videos like this very frequently. Thank you so much, guys. And with that being said, let's get into game number one. So to get things started, let's talk about the most obvious game on this list that everyone saw coming, Combat Master Mobile. After nearly an entire year of waiting for this game's latest update, we finally got this new update and the game is getting closer and closer to the real Warzone Mobile. As a matter of fact, as I mentioned in my last video where we checked out this new update for the first time, Combat Master's new Season 1 trailer actually mentions how Battle Royale is coming very soon. I would imagine not very long from now, there's going to be some patch for the game where Battle Royale will be added because the developers need to add Battle Royale as soon as possible to capitalize on the market before Warzone Mobile is more widely available to more people. Combat Master Mobile is very similar to Modern Warfare 2019, which is what the original Warzone is a part of, with everything right down to the tactical sprint being very familiar to the real game. Movement in Combat Master is the wildest thing I have ever experienced in a mobile shooting game, and it is so much fun when you get the hang of it. You have a wide variety of different maps to choose between, different game modes, custom game ability, an entire gunsmith that is massively customizable and looks really good, super cool skins in the shop with some of them, like the Ukraine support sets even being free, a really awesome and transparent development team, and just so much more. It would be impossible to mention everything this game has, but a massive benefit Combat Master has is it can be played entirely offline. All you need to do is open up the game in airplane mode, and it has all the different game modes, gun customization features, and even leveling up your battle pass is still available offline. The best thing is the fact that the bots in offline mode are like really freaking good. So you don't even feel like you're going up against real bots, you feel like you're going up against pro players. If you're someone who tends to lose internet connection frequently, this game really needs to be on your radar as a good backup plan. And as an added bonus, Combat Master is still a lot more optimized than Warzone Mobile, so this game will perform better on lower end devices than even the real thing. Definitely give this game a shot. Continuing on further, we can't forget about the number one game that everybody likes to compare with Warzone Mobile, Project Bloodstrike. This also happens to be one of a few games on this list that you can't currently play right now since a beta test isn't currently active, but with everything I'm hearing on Twitter and some leaky Chinese website type stuff, it seems like a new version is coming very soon and it still is worth adding to this list. So yes, what exactly is Project Bloodstrike? Well, when you finally can download it soon, you can expect a game that feels pretty much like a light version of Warzone Mobile, much more than even Combat Master Mobile. This game is made by the company NetEase, who is famous for creating budget versions of other popular apps like Rules of Survival, Badlanders, Hyperfront, Creative Destruction, and more. These games tend to run way better on lower end devices than their original counterparts that they're trying to copy, and because of that, they get massively popular. However, unlike other NetEase games I mentioned earlier, Project Bloodstrike is a really good rendition of Warzone Mobile, and they really didn't cut many corners. Like, it was so good when we played it a couple of months ago that I would go as far to say that it played better and looked better than the original Warzone Mobile looks right now, even to this day. It doesn't even feel like a budget version at all. It's almost as if Project Bloodstrike is the real true Warzone Mobile. Project Bloodstrike is a battle royale game at heart where you can drop down from the sky and eliminate everybody else to win. You have the same tactical sprint Warzone Mobile has, very similar gunplay to Warzone. 
you even have revives in squad gameplay and one free respawn when you're playing in solos. Different characters, all with their own special abilities, similar to Legends in Apex Legends Mobile, gun customization, and so much more. I really can't do this game justice just talking about it. You need to try it for yourself when you finally can play it again. This game is easily one of the best non-AAA titles of 2022 and early 2023, and I just can't wait to make more content on it again. Let me know down below in the comments if you're going to be playing this game when the next beta starts. But hey, we got to push forward now, and for game number three, I actually have two games I'd like to show you all. So, I guess you technically get one bonus game on this list. It's like a top six instead of a top five. The gameplay you're seeing right here is not any ordinary mobile shooting game. It may look and feel like a generic Call of Duty ripoff, but this game is actually Roblox. Yes, Roblox! I know it may be difficult to comprehend considering most people think of Roblox as a kid's game, but Roblox itself is actually just a platform where game developers can create and upload their games so people can play them, and it doesn't have to be a kid's game. This game you're seeing here is called Riot Fall, and it's currently in an alpha state. It is eerily similar to Modern Warfare 2019, and it's just crazy to me that this is actually Roblox. It has a fully customizable gunsmith, a wide variety of maps, many different game modes, and so much more. The best thing is, is you don't actually need to download this game in order to play it. All you need to do is download the Roblox app itself, which isn't that big, and you're essentially playing this game on the cloud. Just like the second Roblox game I'd like to show you all. Yeah, you can download like 10 different games like this, and it will take up zero space on your phone, just whatever space the Roblox app itself is taking up. This second game, by the way, is called Frontlines. You're seeing some PC gameplay right now, but this game is available for iOS and Android as well on the Roblox app. However, before you do jump off and try to play this game right now on iOS or Android, do understand that at the time that I am posting this video, you can't play this game yet. This game has random tests that only last a few days, and you really need to be on top of things if you want to try out the next test. I don't even know when that will be, but the last one was around two weeks ago or so, so I would assume it's probably pretty soon. Don't miss out on the opportunity to play this insanely cool game for iOS and Android, and be sure to show your friends because they'll be shocked when you tell them it's actually Roblox. I'm sure there are many more games just like this hidden across the Roblox platform, and you can probably find other game ripoffs there as well. Roblox is way different than you originally thought. So here's another game I didn't think you were expecting, and that's probably because you've never heard of it before. This is a game that's currently available for Android devices, and it's called Carnage Wars. Out of all the games on this list, this is by far the game that will perform the best on lower end devices. So if you're someone watching who has a pretty budget phone, this should probably be the game that you check out first. As you can see from the gameplay here, this game is essentially like a Modern Warfare light, heavy emphasis on light. It shares a lot of similarities like movement, the ridiculous muzzle flash that Warzone Mobile has, sliding, and even maps. Like, some of the maps definitely have some heavy inspiration from Call of Duty as a whole. However, this game does have some unique enough features itself that make it worthy of being on this list. And this game is literally in basically an alpha state. As the devs say, it's gonna get a lot better with time. Will this game be winning any awards? No, obviously not. But if you're someone watching who has a budget phone and you can't play Warzone Mobile or even some of the other games on this list like Project Bloodstrike without getting tons of lag, this might be your best option. It's literally less than 300 megabytes in size and you can't get many better games than this at that size. Unlike games like Combat Master and Project Bloodstrike, they're cutting a lot of corners to keep this game small in size, but I think it'll pay off in the long run because there really isn't any other game even remotely similar to Modern Warfare and Warzone for Android that is this optimized for low-end devices. I do have to mention one thing though, and this might be a deal breaker for a lot of people. This game does have the ability to be played online and offline just like Combat Master. Right when you open up the game, you have a big button at the bottom left that says offline, and by pressing that, you don't need any internet to play. This is a huge benefit for any lower end game and pretty much a must have at this point in time. 
I understand a lot of people might write off a game like this as complete junk, but I think people that have a $100 phone will simply appreciate a somewhat decent first person shooter that actually works for their phone and is both offline and online. And finally, if the last game wasn't to your liking, this game probably will be. This is a game called Life and Death 2, coming soon to iOS and Android. Right now, this game is available for PC players in China, but they're working on a mobile version, and you can even pre-register for it right now on the TapTap -Tap app. I'll leave a link for that down in the description, but before you click off and pre-register, watch a few minutes of gameplay. This gameplay comes from some random players in China, and it is really, really good. I am legitimately so excited for this game, maybe even as much as I am for Warzone Mobile, because this game looks like the perfect blend of Modern Warfare, Warzone, PUBG, CSGO, and a bunch of other games, and I think this game will be really big when it finally is available to play. When you take a look at Battle Royale gameplay, you can see some insanely good looking maps that have dynamic weather, beautiful scenery, there's jetpacks, vehicles, and really cool looking gameplay. But the game also has all the other game modes you could possibly want. Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy, Free For All, Zombies, and you can bet since this is a Chinese game, the boss battles will be absolutely insane. If you remember Call of Duty Online for PC and how crazy some of the monsters and game modes were in that game, this game might even match that, but it's for freaking mobile devices, and that's the coolest thing about it. Now, I do believe there is a way you can play on PC right now, even if you're not in China, but it's super difficult because it involves having some sort of Chinese identification and a bunch of other stuff. If anybody watching this can actually figure out a way to get this game on PC outside of China, please reach out to me because I would love to make a tutorial for everybody and I will give you a shout out in the process. But hey, getting back to Life and Death 2, I really think it could easily be one of the best games of 2023 when it comes out for mobile devices and it definitely needs to be on your radar. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. Is it the multiplayer gameplay, battle royale gameplay, zombies gameplay, or something completely different? Regardless what it is, Life and Death 2 is one of the only upcoming mobile games that will actually give Warzone Mobile a run for its money. And with that being said, that's basically it for today's video. Those were technically six games that are very similar to Modern Warfare and Warzone that you can either play right now or very soon for iOS and Android. I really hope this video did help you guys out in finding some pretty cool mobile games. If it did, please take a second and leave a like and subscribe down below for more content just like this. Thank you so much, guys. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next episode.